Hello guys, I come back again with a new video tutorial about some important consideration of the VMware Horizon View deployment. And in this part, I want to review two important points of the initial Horizon installation. I mean the connection server setup wizard. Because I firmly believe you should consider them before working through the VMware VDI environment. The first one is the latest step on the connection server setup wizard. As you can see, you should specify the deployment location and the default option is general, which means you need to deploy the Horizon Suite inside your local network. But what are the other options? Exactly, they are the most popular public cloud provider platforms. Amazon AWS, Google Cloud Service, Microsoft Azure, and so on. Although it's not just a simple installation step, but it's important to plan carefully before selecting which methods you require. Set up on your local environment or choose a public cloud based on your company roadmap and font because there is no way back to this step. There are a lot of pre-requirements as the CSP, a cloud service provider comparison factors that you have to know and review them. Maybe in another video I will discuss about this matter. The second consideration is related to one of the most important components of the Horizon Connection Server, a LDAP instant named VMware VDMDS that act as the central management point of the directory service objects related to the VDI environment, like servers, desktop pool, generated the stuff inside the horizon and etc. Also, you may know you can connect to this LDAP via the ADSI Edit Console to manage the objects, especially whenever you have some or find objects like a not deleted virtual desktop that you need to remove manually through this console. We all the VDI administrators should be aware of the process of the connection server uninstallation, reinstallation does not remove the LDAP component automatically. Because in many circumstances, you may need to install the CS component again, but you must keep its LDAP structure for furthermore using this configuration. Even if you check the current install applications on the Windows Server con Control Panel, you can see these are separate programs. The other deployed replica servers also use this schema to create their own ADLDS instances. In the next part, I will discuss more with focus on the connection server configuration tips and tricks.